Good morning, Berlin. I'm Stefano Pinto, and welcome to this edition of WBLN for today, May 11, 2018. Last night, seniors celebrated the Baccalaureate Mass held in Our Lady of Guadalupe. The Mass is held annually for seniors prior to the graduation. President-elect Luciano Betocci was passed down the torch of student council, and students received a blessing of our mother. Congrats to the seniors and many blessings ahead. Carlos Rio, class of 2001, just got introduced as the ambassador of the United States to the Organization of American States. The Organization of American States is the world's oldest regional organization, dating back to the first International Conference of American States held in Washington, D.C. from October 1889 to April 1890. That meeting approved the establishment of International Union of American Re Republics, the oldest international institution system. Congrats to him and his family. Belen is inviting all Belen mothers to our second annual morning hour of prayer for moms on Friday, May 11th at 8 a.m. in the Chapel of Our Lady, located in the Garrido Family Plaza. Please RSVP to Ms. Corzo at scorzo at belenjesuit.org. The hope for the Kaisai Club will be selling bracelets in the Wolverine Den for $1. These bracelets will help increase awareness about the plight of families in Kaisa. The money raised from their sales will be used to donate the GOAT project. Please support our fundraising by effort of purchasing a Hope for Kaiser bracelet just for $1 in the Wolverine Den. Rudy Giuliani has re-signed from his law firm to focus on his legal work for President Trump. The former New York City may mayor joined the president's legal team and the team last month he's helping with the special counsel investigation into Russia meddling in the 2016 election. He says leaving his law firm will allow him to focus on pressing demands of the Mueller investigation and concentrate on the critically important matter for our country. Trump has repeatedly denounced the Russia inquiry as a witch hunt, saying there's no co collusion between his campaign and Russia. Since joining the legal team, however, Giuliani has repeatedly made headlines for wading into allegations involving the president and adult film actress Stormy Daniels, the younger brother of the Parkland Florida high school shooter has his own trouble with the law. Zachary Cruz has been arrested twice this year. The first time was for skating on campus where his brother killed 17 people in February. His attorney is requesting a judge to grant a change of venue for the 18-year-old in order for him to get a second chance. Cruz is being offered a job, counseling, and a place to live in Virginia. The motion will be heard Friday in Broward County. Sergey Lavrov speaking at the press conference in Moscow, has said that the U.S. withdrawal from the Iran nuclear deal is a serious violation of U.N. Security Council. Resolution 2231, which was approved and made in part of international law. Lavrov also said that it is important for all the other parties to respond to the situation promptly and have necessary consolation and come up with a number of steps that would help preserve this extremely important document. Speaking alongside Russian Foreign Minister Heiko Maas, the German Foreign Minister has said that the JCPOA must be adhered to the Maas. The two discuss further steps that should be taken, saying, we need to see Iran complete with full obligation as per the JCPOA. Iran should continue to act with framework of the deal. Maas also said that the two men discuss to an extent what Russia can exert in its influence on Iran. What's up guys, here's your scoop for today. A valuable piece of marvelous movie memorabilia is missing, and wait, there's more. The original Iron Man suit which Robert Downey Jr. wore in the 2008 movie that launched the Marvel Cinematic Universe has disappeared from a Los Angeles area warehouse. Police are investigating the apparent theft of the red and gold suit valued at more than $300,000. Margot Robbie is getting serious as a producer. She produces and stars in her latest film, Terminal, just as she did on the Oscar-nominated I, Tonya, and she has a half dozen more projects lined up to produce. Does she also eventually want to direct? I do. I think right now I do want to, just not for uh, a couple years yet. You're Norma Desmond. Used to be in silent pictures. Used to be big. I am big. It's the pictures that got small. For all you film fanatics out there, a big picture is headed back to the big screen. Billy Wilder's Sunset Boulevard starring Gloria Swanson and William Holden returns to some 600 U.S. theaters this Sunday, May 13th, and next Wednesday, May 16th.
Sunset Boulevard will begin screening Sunday, May 13th at Regal South Beach, AMC Sunset Place, and UA Falls. Check Fandango or your local listings for showtimes. Now stay tuned as we bring you weather and sports after these messages. Hello, Belen, and happy Friday. It's almost time for the weekend, and it looks like we're going to get off to a great start on the radar. It is completely clear for your Friday evening, and, but things are going to change as we go on to the weekend, but let's take a look at today's forecast. It's going to be a little bit hot with a precipitation of 20%, 86 degrees and 75, and let's take a look at this weekend's weather. For Saturday, we're going to get some scattered thunderstorms with a 40% chance of rain, and then on to Mother's Day, we're going to get some thunderstorms at 60%, and that will carry on to Monday when you make your way here to Belen. So be safe, have a great weekend, and happy Mother's Day. Let's pass it on to Alex for sports. Thank you, Mario. Here are your sports for today. In baseball, the Red Sox beat the Yankees 5-4, the Mariners beat the Blue Jays 9-3, and the Braves beat the Marlins 9-2, and the Nats beat the Diamondbacks 2-1. Here at home, tickets to the Junior Varsity, Varsity, and Middle School Sports Banquets are available online. Deadline for the JV and Varsity Banquets are Monday, May 14, 2018. That's all for sports. I'm back to Mario at the desk. Thank you. Alex, be sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. That's all your news for today. I'm Stefano Pinto. And from everyone here at WBLN, have a wonderful day and stay golden, Wolverines.